Hi, I'm Marty Pearson. I'd like to talk with you about the process of becoming a light bearer. A light bearer is someone who wants to change the world, someone who wants to leave an impact, a legacy, and who lights the way to freedom for others. And that freedom could have to do with emotional baggage, freedom from financial bondage, it could be political freedom, it could be freedom of thought, freedom to be yourself. There's all kinds of freedom. And light bearers lead people. They light the way to freedom. Now, if you're excited about becoming a light bearer, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you are, then I want you to know a little bit about the process because I think it's important to get a bearing of where you are in the process and what's coming next. And it helps give you kind of a, a sense of direction because you're a person who's lighting the way for other people and you need to know where you are in this process. If you're going to light, lead other people, you got to know the kind of the ground of where you are and where you're going. So first off, let's just start with my analogy of the quartz. Quartz is um, hewn out of a, a stone here, hewn out of the mountains or the rocks somewhere. Got this out in uh, Zion National Park and it's got some, look how that sparkles there. It's got some lots of nice little qualities to it. It's also got some blemishes and flaws and it's white but it's also brown and it's not perfect or anything. Now if you take this and you cut it, it can become white. Look how beautiful and white that is and there's no major uh, brown spots or impurities. It's got that white piece and the clarity even at the top. Now if you work this quartz even further you can get it till it becomes clear almost. There's a, there's a few cracks and flaws in this piece but it's clear and if you keep working it you could get it transparent and if you got it so transparent and shaped in the right format it could become a prism and it could shine and light would go through it and refract out in all the colors of the rainbow. And that's your objective, is to become this conduit of God's light out to others. So how is this anything like your process? Let me explain. You are a collection of talents and gifts and God-given divinity. You're also a collection of life experiences, traumas, flaws, uh, human frailties, all these different things that have come into making you who you are. Okay? You're not perfect, and that's okay. You're a beautiful creation of our Heavenly Father. And along the way, you've learned some amazing things. You've learned how to overcome trials, how to overcome challenges, and most likely, you can lead other people to help them overcome theirs. You can be a light to help them traverse the wilderness of darkness. In order to do that, the clearer and more transparent you can become, the better that light will go through you and refract out and reflect to the world. So the very first step in our process beyond just being shaped by your environments goes back to this whiteness. And there's a level of purity here. Um, and I believe this purity is only obtained through a connection with God. God is able to purify us and the way we do that is we put up that white flag of surrender and surrender to Him in some way. And then He is able to purify us and make us more of an instrument. And after we've been cleansed or purified through this surrendering process, we go next to clarity. And clarity, and you'll even see some clarity starting to form on the top of this one. Clarity is that clarity about who we are in connection to God and who we are ourselves and how we can go forth and serve other people, how we can light the way for others. We may gain clarity about how we've made it through our own challenges and start to see how we can help other people. We're starting to understand who we are and why we're on this planet when we get that clarity. The next phase is a transparency. And transparency requires authenticity and integrity and being completely aligned with your purpose. And it takes a while to get this level of uh, transparency and it, it can be a difficult uh, road to become this transparent, transparent because it'll, 
You have to overcome your own fear of looking like a fool or fear of putting yourself out in a way that uh, where you're not looking so perfect or you know you're really risking a lot sometimes to be transparent and this is a difficult phase that makes a lot of people want to turn around and say and then maybe nobody wants to hear what I say uh, you know all these different things that go through your head oh, nobody would listen to me I'll just go back it, it feels dangerous to step outside of our comfort zones and be that transparent but if you will forge on through you're going to get to the fun part which is the shining and being shaped into someone that God can use to light the way for others now, I want to talk to you a little bit more about this transparency phase because once you've gained clarity you're probably going ahead and putting yourself out there and doing a little bit and you may run into a setback that feels like it set you all the way back to square one and you think maybe I don't know everything that I thought I knew about this subject you could have been teaching it a while and suddenly you've hit a setback and uh, I know for myself I hit my own setback like this I realized that I had been preaching authenticity and transparency, just be yourself, put yourself out there, and all of this, and then I had this rude awakening that I was not doing that in my home. I was doing that in the world, but I was not doing that in my marriage. I was not speaking up, I was not voicing what I wanted or didn't want, what I liked or didn't like. I was just keeping the peace, going along, and it took me to a place where I was not happy at all because I was not being authentically me in my own marriage. And so I had to back up and spend some time fixing this, learning to communicate, learning to voice my opinion and what I felt like, and learning to be me in the partnership of marriage. Now, a lot of my colleagues have run into similar situations where they, they're doing just fine and then they hit a wall and it feels like, oh, you know, they're being tested on the very thing they're teaching. And I have a theory that we're all teaching what we need to learn. <laughs> we're all teaching what we need to learn. That's why we're digging into it. That's why we're learning about it. Because we know deep down we've got an issue with this and we've got to deal with it. And so teaching is a way to learn. And that's okay. There comes a time to be completely transparent. You've got to deal with all of this. You have to deal with the impurities, the things that are blocking the light from flowing through you completely. And that's what transparency is about. And it is a process. Nobody's going to become perfect. And you don't have to be perfect to share your message. So keep on sharing it. But don't be um, thrown if you hit this wall uh, at the transparency phase where you feel like you're back to square one. Press on through. You're not a failure. All the principles that you've taught up to this time are true. Keep going. This is your chance to prove it and brush away those last impurities so you can really shine forth and make an impact and create a movement around your message in the world.